Hey guys, we're back. Fred here, Math AF, Math and Engineering. So, what have we done so far? We discussed a little bit about how the shear center works. We drew the shear flow diagram on here, and we found the moment of inertia for the cross section, okay? So, the next step in the problem is to resolve these forces, okay? And step by step, I'm just gonna give you the method for doing that, okay? So, for each section, okay, we need to find the stress, okay, the shearing stress. And if you remember from the nail design question, and I'll put a link up and you can just take a look at that video and see how this formula works, okay? Um, so the formula is Q V over I T, okay? This is the formula that we need to use, and I'm going to just label these here for you. I'll just do it in black. We'll say this is point A, okay, and this is point B. So we wanna find the shear stress here and here, okay? Once we have that, we can solve for F1 and F2. Once we solve for F1 and F2, we can then use the summation of the moments to solve for our shear center, okay, which is going to be E, okay, and let me just draw that in for you here. It's going to be the, the spacing from the point of origin here to the force, okay? What spacing ensures that there's no rotation, essentially? So, how do we, how do we use this formula? Okay, well, Q is a length to the third unit, so in this case it's going to be millimeters to the third, okay, and we're going to get Q by multiplying, for example, if we're, if we're finding A. So let's just start with A, and we'll explain it as we go along. So Q for section A here, okay, is going to be the area of this little piece sticking out here, times the distance from this piece to the centroid, or from the centroid of this to the centroid of the entire cross section, okay? So, Let's begin by starting with that. So we have a length of 50 millimeters, okay? We have a thickness of 2.5 millimeters, okay? And we have a distance of 25 millimeters from the centroid of this shape to the ending. Perfect. So that's our cube, simple as that. Let me just label this so we know what we're doing here. Okay, so the V, is going to be the shear force acting on the cross section, and that's given to us, and that's 200, okay? That's 200 kilonewtons. Let's convert that to newtons, okay? That's going to be our V. All right, and that's all divided by uh, our I that we found earlier, which was six, seven, seven, Okay, and that's millimeters to the fourth. Finally, we have the thickness, and the thickness that we're concerned with is this thickness here, which is 2.5 millimeters, okay? Now, if we go ahead and calculate that, let's just put it in our calculator real quick. we end up with a value of 369.124 millimeters newtons, excuse me, over millimeters squared, okay? Which is MPA, right? Perfect. So we are done solving tau for this section here. Let's do it for this section on the top. So wherever there's a force, okay, we wanna find the stress associated with that section, okay? So now we have another force here, F1. Let's at section B, let's do that next, okay? Now we have the same shear, okay? It's the same throughout. That stays constant. We have the area of 25 times 2.5, and then our dy, our distance to the centroid is 50 millimeters, okay? Same moment of inertia. and same thickness, okay? Now, when we put that in, I think, okay, 
Okay, we're going to get exactly the same thing. Okay, so what's the next step? So we'll call this tau A and we'll call this tau B. All right, so we want now to resolve the forces, okay? So let's start with that. We want to resolve the force of F2, right? So the formula for F2 is going to be tau A times the area of the section at A divided by 2, okay? So simple enough, plug this in. We have tau A, right, which is 369.124, okay? Okay, we have an area here of 25, excuse me, 50 times 2.5. Okay, and we're going to divide that by 2. And what are we going to get? We're going to end up with, and as we see here, we have millimeter squared units. Those are going to cancel. And this value that we get is going to be in Newtons, okay? So F2 is equal to 23,070.25 Newtons, and that's this force here. Let's just quickly calculate F1, okay? We have tau B, which is for this section here, and it is the same thing. I'm going to not put the units here because we know what we're doing now, times 2.5, right? The area of this piece here divided by 2. What do we get? We end up with 2.5 newtons, okay? All right, so we're almost done the shear center question now. We've resolved the forces by finding the stresses. Okay, next step, we are going to actually solve for the shear center. Come back for that.